this is challenge. <laughs> this, is the, this is the video. That was challenge. Have you anyone had a uh, challenge in your life? Sure. As not dangerous as pulling, uh, crossing Niagara Falls, I have had a challenge in my life. One year ago, I went to the Incheon Airport in Korea to go to Europe. I was so excited. That was my first trip. So I was so excited, and then uh, I arrived at the Incheon Airport. But I just realized I don't know anything. I didn't know where can I get airplane ticket or where can I get where can I send my luggage. And even I didn't know where is it. Even I thought when I board the airplane, I thought, should I take my shoes? Mm -hmm. Personally, I didn't take my shoes. And then I was sitting on my, in my seat. Every flight attendant was speaking in English. I was so thirsty. I was I wanted to drink orange juice. But uh, at that time, I didn't have no confidence to speak English. So I just held on until I arrived at the United Kingdom. And then, uh, as soon as I arrived at there, I ended up orange juice. And after that, I had to find my hotel, so I looked at my map. I realized I can never understand that. I was like, black is ink, white is paper. <laughs> so I had to ask people. I had to ask people. And then I asked people. People said, blah, 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 blah. I couldn't understand. Somehow, I arrived at my hotel. And some strangers came to me. And he talked to me. Can you speak in English? I said, <laughs> and he said, can you speak in English? Finally, I understood. Um, I said, a little bit. And then he said, then can you speak Spanish? You know, I said, not at all. Until then, I didn't know what had happened to me. But something happened to me. That was I R R D. Does anyone know I R R D? Please raise your hand. Yeah, you should not know because I made it up yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I first I imagine you are at cliff and you fell off. Fall off a cliff. Imagine. You are walking on the street and some strangers come to you and they try to kidnap you. Both of them really did happen to me. Falling at quick, yes, that happened to me. I was in Switzerland and I wanted to try paraglide. So I went up on the mountain and I was supposed to get wind to fly, but at that time the wind didn't blow, so I just fell off the cliff. Uh. Um, I was so bleeding from my arms, from my legs, and my clothes were red with blood. Mm. And after, the, after that, the next day, I tried it again, and I did it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I did it. And Getting kidnapped, that really did happen to me. I was walking on the street in France to see Sin River, and some strangers came to me again, and they spoke French, and they grabbed my wrist, they grabbed my neck, they grabbed my body, and they dragged me to go somewhere. I was so scared. I couldn't understand anything and they I don't know them but they dragged me constantly. I thought 
I might be killed. I might be raped. So I screamed so loudly. And then police came to me. I was safe. After that, I was so scared. I couldn't do anything. I was just sitting on stairs and I cried and cried so badly. I wanted to go back to Korea. I didn't want to that. I just wanted to fancy something like just some have some coffee on the patio like Frank's uh, that I saw movie in Amelie. But I didn't go back to Korea because that is my, not my destination. That is part of my journey. Finally, 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 <laughs> <laughs> finally, a close death experience. I was on the train in Switzerland. I was seeing beautiful scenery and I was trying to take a nap. It was so peaceful. But suddenly the train was shaking. And my camera was broke. And every passenger was screaming. And even the step were screaming. And I was screaming. I couldn't do anything, and the staff couldn't do anything. I was... I thought... I'm going to die soon. I'm going to die soon. I saw my flesh, my life flesh, before my eyes. My body thrown the window and my head stuck chair. And I thought I started to regret about my whole life. I started to regret about my whole life. I regretted it not doing my best. I regretted it not doing what I wanted to do. And I really, 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 really regretted it not saying I love you, my parents. A few minutes later, I found out I'm still alive. After regretting, I realized this is my turning point. So, before that accident, I had the just boring life. I didn't know why I was alive. I didn't know what's the most important to me in my life. But <coughs> after that, I realized what I want. I wanted to have new experiences and English skill. So I try to do it. That's why I'm here and I'm doing my presentation. Mm -hmm. Do it. Just do it what you want. If you do what you want from now on, I'm pretty sure you will face with you will face a lot of obstacles. But that means you are going to see. It's much better than just staying at home at your bed too. In your bed too. Much more interesting, right? Mm -hmm. Bigger and more hazardous, more 
interesting and more and more and moving more and more fulfilling. Sometimes big wave will come to you, but don't give up, never give up. If Lou gives up killing his smoking, <laughs> he will probably get bad disease later in his life. <laughs> if Leon gives up on finding his girlfriend, <laughs> he will probably be probably single forever. <laughs> <laughs> gave up my traveling, I couldn't see beautiful Ivy Tower. And I couldn't do awesome terror gliding. Then am I a special person? No. Definitely not. not. I'm just a normal person. I just love soju. <laughs> oh, so <true. laughs> Especially makgeolli. Oh, makgeolli. <laughs> and I love to hang out with my friends. And I love boat clubbing. And I love food. And I love food sometimes too much. <laughs> 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 but I'm glad to see that your luck has completely changed. Uh, very good. So, let's hear from the judges. How long was that flight from Korea to the United Kingdom? Um, 16 hours. You needed 16 hours for orange juice? Wow, you must really love orange juice. Okay, despite the technical difficulties, uh, Dana, you did something great uh, with emotional impact. Uh, so I think uh, your presentation was, as I, as I kept mentioning uh, through the month, uh, problems will come up. It may be better so that it happened during your challenge presentation. I love that you mentioned some of the other students in your concluding presentations. It was well done. 
Uh, yeah, it, it wasn't perfect, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Okay, so uh, I know that uh, I joke around a lot, probably too much, uh, but I, it's it's amazing the power that it, that it, just a simple joke can have and when it's delivered well. And you, you did that and you opened up, you broke the ice in the room, and from then on it was fantastic. Uh, you used pausing partially, probably, to give yourself time to remember your, your, your words, but you were using it artfully and you used it uh, skillfully in the manner that we practiced. And that, that created uh, tension where it should have been and an emphasis and emotional impact where it should have been. Uh, it was natural, uh, conversational, and you dealt with, uh, again, you dealt with your challenges with a lot of grace. So, excellent. Work.